right. <clears throat> okay. This is the Comic Book Legal Defense Fund, and uh, we've been tested. The Comic Book Legal Defense Fund is a group uh, designed to fight for First Amendment issues in the comics industry. Um, we fight on any threats to free expression when it comes to comics. Quite a few. Um, right now we're handling uh, five cases and a uh, possible six in the works. There's uh, quite often, I mean, there's a number of parents groups in, um, and not just parents, but conservative religious groups that are interested in one reason for another in banning comics. Uh, we fight that in court, generally. Well, I mean, there's a variety of things that people don't like about comics. Uh, I mean, it can be anything from Spider-Man, which uh, parents groups have, have complained about, have tr tried to get shops closed down over something as, as banal as Spider-Man. I, I think that it was an issue of violence in Spider-Man. Um, our position on that is that any comic, no matter what the contents, has a right to be published and a right to be distributed and uh, sold in, in the United States. And if someone doesn't like it, they don't have to buy it. Well, I, our basic position is that comics is a medium of expression that is available to everyone. The, the comics are perceived as being a medium that's just for children but it's clearly a medium that, uh, since its beginning, as, as newspaper strips, was an adult medium. And uh, so any attempts to, to limit comics to, to being a medium for children, we would be against, absolutely. Well, the Legal Defense Fund is uh, made up of a board of four members and then we also have an auxiliary board of lawyers that, that advises us. When we're fighting a case in California or Florida or Georgia, we'll take on a law firm in that local area. Um, we have you know, hundreds, if not thousands, of people who donate money to us. Uh, we generally collect about $100,000 a year and generally pay out about $100,000 a year fighting cases. Well, the average number of cases a year has been growing exponentially. Um, two years ago, we had one case. Last year, we had three cases. And this year, as I said, we have, we have six cases. Um, there's Each case sort of have, has its own complexity. Um, there's, there's a case here in California um, outside Los Angeles in the city of Chino Hills. And that's the case I was mentioning before where the parents were actually against Spider-Man. Um, the city of Chino Hills has passed a ordinance in, in their city specifically targeted at this single comic shop. There's one comic shop in Chino Hills. They've, they've made an ordinance in that city that requires any shop that caters to children to require a special license. Um, our, our feeling is that to, for, to require a bookstore to have a license is just absolutely unconstitutional from the, the, the ground up. Um, and uh, that case has been going on for a year now where, um, where the parents have been, have been picking the shop and um, 